Welcome to this third tutorial in the Sebloid training series that we're doing in association with the Joomla Beat podcast. In the previous tutorials, we've gone through the steps that are required to build a gallery or portfolio style site using Joomla and Sebloid. And this is the result of what we've got so far. We've got a page where we can display our gallery items. And when we click on those gallery items, they show up in a modal box. And you can flick through the images like uh, any other usual modal box. Now, in this tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to get an application of Sebloid.com, which I'll say up front that you need a VIP subscription to Sebloid.com in order to access. But I really want to showcase to you in this tutorial the real functionality that you can get uh, using those VIP memberships and the advantages they can bring to your site because they already come packaged with a bunch of Sebloid uh, built functionality that can complement your website. And so they're really a big time saver if you're building with Sebloid to roll out some functionality that's already been created. So what I mean by that is if you've got a Joomla website, it's got Sebloid on it, then you get an application of Sebloid.com, a specific application like the one we're going to look at today, which is the comments application. And it has a few custom fields in it, some templates, some form and content types, and some list and search types that have already been built that we can just plug straight into our website and use straight out of the box. So the way that we're going to use that is when we click on one of these images, we're going to go through to a full content page, uh, which just displays one of those images. And at the bottom of that page, we'll have a comment form, which any logged in user can use. Uh, if you're not logged in, you won't see the form because we'll hide it from, uh, from guests. So any logged in user can use that. And then beneath that form, we'll have a list of all the comments that have been created um, and added to that particular content item. All right. So without further ado, let's have a look on Sebloid.com for our application. Here is the comments application page on Sebloid.com. And if you're logged in and you have a VIP subscription, you'll be able to click this download button and download the application. So once you've downloaded that, you can go to the back end of your website, go into the extension manager, and because we already have Sebloid installed on our Joomla website, we can install that directly using the extension manager. So here you see that I've installed that now. And the first things that you'll notice is that this installation package has done a few things to your Joomla website. The first is that it's created a menu for the different things related to the application. And in Seblod, you'll see that it's created some form and content types here, this comment form, and some list and search types. So uh, a comments list where we can list any comments that have been added to a particular content item, uh, a latest comments list. So if you wanted to display that in a module, for example, you could do that. And two other comment managers where you can in, uh, have a menu item to manage all of the different comments that have been added into your site in the front end and also in the back end. And in this tutorial, because we've just got limited time, I'm going to just show you the front end comment manager today. So first things first is that we need to remove the modal link on our gallery items so that we can create a link instead to the content view of our uh, form and content type. So here we're in our gallery items item view. This is the, um, the list page, basically, well, well, the search and list type that lists our gallery items all on the same page. And we're going to flick over to the number two box click on our image typography and remove our modal box. And instead, we're going to create a link to the content view of the particular content item that we click on. So we'll click save and close. And now if we go into our form and content type manager, we now need to add some fields into the content view of our gallery item content type. So 
So what we're going to add, we're going to go to our content view. And we're going to add in our gallery image and our gallery snippet text. Now on our gallery image, we're going to add the image typography. And we want thumbnail three to display as default. And we don't want to have a modal box. Now you'll see on the right here, here's two fields that uh, you don't have uh, yet because um, you haven't created them in your Joomla Serverload installation, but it's something that I've created earlier, which are two fields that came with the um, Serverload uh, comments package that I installed previously. So I'll take you through how to create them. First is going to be our gallery comment form. And it's going to be a Sebload form. So what this field does, this form field does, is it allows us to include the, this, uh, the form of another content type within this content type, which is really neat. So here in the default value uh, box, we're going to add the name of our content type form that we want to add, which is Seb comment and the label is add a comment. We click save and close. And the second is this list field, which we'll add another one here. So just so you can see how to do it. And this is exactly the same concept, except instead of including another form within this uh, within this field, we're going to include a list. And this is going to be called Seb comments because that's the name of the list that we uh, want to display in this field. We want to add user comments as the label. Okay, so we're going to click save and close on that. And like I said before, we want to hide this field from people who aren't logged in so that they don't get an error. So by default, the permissions um, are set so that if you're not logged in, you're not going to be able to add any content to the website because guest users can't create content by default. You can change that, but we're not going to go into it in this tutorial. Instead, we're going to just say that only logged in users can add comments. And if you're not logged in, we don't want to register, we don't want to render the field. So we're just going to change the access on that field to registered. So it only tries to render if you're logged in as a registered user. So we'll click save. And now let's check out what's happened in the front end of our site. So if we refresh this page and now click on one of these items, you'll see that instead of a modal box, we now go through to the full content view. We've got our image, which we added, our snippet text. If we keep scrolling down, you'll see we've got our comments form and our comments list. Now there's no comments listed yet because we haven't added any comments in, but if we add in a comment now, And we submit that comment. Now if we scroll down, you'll see that that comment has been added at the bottom here. Now I'm not going to go into styling because of course you've got a different looking website and um, you can style this however you want. Uh, um, it's really just the purpose of, of this tutorial is just to show you this functionality that you can build with Seblod and Seblod applications. Now the final thing I'll show you is that comments manager, which we can um, have a look at in the front end of our site. And to do that, we're going to go and add this menu as a module 
on all of our pages. So I'm going to create a new Joomla module, menu module. The menu is going to be the comments app for Seblod. And I'm going to publish that in position seven, just beneath the existing menu that's there. Now, if I go back to the site in the front end, and we click on our comments manager, you can see here all the comments that I've added into the system. So the one that I just added then, and a bunch of others that I've added previously. So with this uh, menu manager or this comment manager that we've got in the front end, you can give um, whatever level of access user you want um, to have the ability to manage these different comments, whether you want them to be able to edit those comments or delete them or, or do whatever, you can do it all from this front end. And at the top here, you've got some filters, so you can filter different configurations. So you can, if you've got heaps of comments, you can find the one that you're looking for easily. And then if you want, go in and change the status of one of those comments, change it to unpublished, and do all of the, the content administration tasks that you want. So that's a great feature of Sibylid applications because uh, you get this front end manager where you don't have to teach uh, your customers or clients or, or whoever's going to be using your websites to uh, you know the back end of Joomla. Instead, you can give them this nice customized front end interface where they can do their content administration. Okay, so that wraps up the tutorial for this week where we've shown you how to use Sebload applications and showcase the comments application. Of course, there's heaps more on the sebload.com website, so go and take a look at that and uh, consider if you think that it's um, something that will be valuable to you then and then get a VIP subscription and get access to all of those applications and start having a play with them. In the final tutorial in our series, uh, next week we're going to look at packaging up everything that we've done this month in these tutorial series into uh, one single application that we can download off this site and install on a completely new Joomla website which has Seblod installed. So tune in next week for that.